What's up guys? What's going on guys? Well, I just got back from a nine hour flight from Madrid over to Miami. I'm exhausted. It was a long week over in Palma with the Axel Park crew. It was a fantastic week. I had the time of my life. We were able to see new Axel Park products, new Bravest Marine products, and obviously not to mention the big giant that we were there for. Guys, you have no idea how awesome the new 45 Axel Park is. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Adrian wasn't able to come on this trip with us, so I had to basically record everything with my phone. I also had very limited time since we were actually at an Axel Park dealer meeting. And then we also had the Palma Boat Show, which we also have some other brands over there that we were having a look at. I'm going to show you all of that in a separate video. But for now, let me take you guys back to Palma and show you what it's like to be on board the brand new Axopar 45 Cross Cap. Alright guys, so here we have it. The all new Axopar 45 Cross Cabin. What a boat. What a beauty and what a machine. This boat is a game changer in the Axopar fleet and in the center console industry. It is a 45 foot cabin boat with enough space inside to fit up to 13 people. We were out on it on sea trials and I can't emphasize just how awesome it is to be able to have that many people comfortably seating or standing in an enclosed pilot house. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna hop on the boat and we're gonna show you some of the key features on board this new 45. Very important thing to note, this is haul number one. So it is their prototype model, so it's not not a production model so there are some things that aren't going to be available in terms of when the boat is launched all right so before we hop on board the 45 let's talk a little bit about the engine choice so this boat will be offered with the triple 300s only so 900 horsepower i do understand that some people might think that might be a little bit underpowered but the reality is that that's more than enough power for this boat in terms of uh, fuel efficiency and top end speed. Axopar has it right. They have it dialed in. They know this is the perfect engine choice for this boat in terms of getting their optimal performance. Let's hop on board the deck and have a closer look. You'll notice that we have multiple hatches. So like we have on the 37s and on the 28s, you know that we have a main storage hatch down below. And then we also have our traditional boxes on the sides and they're just super sized. I was able to fit my leg in one of those. They're coming out with some pretty cool options in terms of what you're gonna be able to do with these hatches. I can't reveal them just yet, so you'll have to wait for that. We do have the shower as well. Notice that we have a fire extinguisher. I'm not sure if this is gonna be all available in the production model the shower obviously will be but let's close that off and then have a look at the floor storage three different hatches so we open these hatches you'll notice that they aren't fully covered so we have them exposed this way or axopar has them exposed this way just so that you can see what's going on down below in terms of battery a lot of battery power for this 45. I'm not gonna go too much into detail on that because it's very technical, but just so you have an idea of how everything is wired and arranged. And then obviously you do have plates for that that cover that area and you can just use it as storage. I will mention that you do have sufficient storage in that particular compartment right there where you see that cushion to fit a generator, a gyro, or a sea keeper. So the, the amount of storage that you have there, it's pretty, it's pretty great. Yeah, just notice all the space that you have here for storage, which is really nice. You always wanna have storage on board uh, a boat of this size. Again, more battery power. So this is the open layout. Uh, obviously the aft cabin, you will be getting the cabin option. Uh, if you go with a multi-storage compartment, you will be getting just more storage like we see on the 37. So again, what Axopar is raving about the 45, they're going big on the word uh, supersizing, or as they might call it, right sizing, because they want to be able to have everything the way they would expect it to be on a boat of this caliber. All right, so here I'm making my way over to the bow, but I'm gonna make a quick right turn and I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that the aft sliding door is open and I'll show you guys what the interior is like. So here we have U-shaped seating with a table and then this wet bar, which both of these systems are actually on the rails. So you can actually move them and it'll give you more of an adjustable space depending on how you wanna use it. We also have dual sunroofs, so you can have both open or you can just have one. But just have a look at the interior layout that we have over here. 
big panoramic windows. There you can kind of have an idea of what the sliding doors look like. You can either open the both of the forward ones or you can open both of the aft ones. So you'll notice that this one has the grill. That was one of my doubts as well, having a grill in a cross cabin boat. Again, it is a prototype. You can get this with the cooktop stove. That'll probably be the most popular option. And then you actually have room in this wet bar to fit two fridges. We open this over here and then we have a sink, nice and spacious. There you can see the rail system. They might change that for the production models. Again, this is a prototype. All right, so here let's have a closer look at the helm. First thing you'll notice is it's really similar to the 37 helm station. One key feature to notice is gonna be the new steering wheel. So you're gonna have the steering wheel that we find on board the Shadow 900s where basically you have the thrusters and the trim tabs and the, the speaker volumes and everything incorporated into the steering wheel, which is nice. This boat is equipped with the JPO system, so we have our nice joystick over there. And then you'll notice the new Mercury digital throttle systems. Notice the two big SIMRAD screens behind the glass. So again, that information display carries on. And these two screens actually have a new operating system, which is really sweet from SIMRAD. Notice we have the same cup holders there that we find in the 37. We have vents up top and then our access point to the cabin. The forward cabin is pretty much the same as before. You got to push that button over there, raises up and just look at the cabin that we are greeted into. First thing you'll notice is obviously the headroom. That looks like a deep cabin. I'm pretty confident in the fact that if I go down there, I'm six feet and I'm going to be able to stand up tall, that's just the type of comfort that you're looking for in a boat of this size. Notice how we have an L-shaped, uh, similar to a U-shaped seating, not a full U, but you do have uh, some seating arrangement. And then if you wanna make that into a full bed, all you gotta do is slide those cushions um, back and you have a bed similar to what you'll find in the 37, but it gives you a different layout to sit around. Also notice the amount of storage space that they've incorporated into this boat. That was something that uh, they heard from their customers that on the 37s you didn't really have that much space to store stuff inside the cabin So that's something that they incorporated into this 45 and then obviously the fact that we opened this door and were greeted by this supersized uh, toilet compartment with a shower, so it is a wet head there are some reasons why they didn't fit a full enclosed uh, shower in this 45 and that's primarily for performance. They didn't want to give up on the performance of the boat so they had to compromise but, there. But still a pretty sizable wet head which I know everybody's going to love on the 45. So we move on back, we go back into the cabin. We don't really have too much information on this yet but there is an aft cabin layout which does offer another toilet as well. It's not going to be a full shower, it's just going to be a toilet. Um, I had the pleasure of trying their virtual reality um, and I actually got a sense of what that cabin is going to feel like. So we go on forward into the bow. Notice that we still have the gull wings. So they're keeping the gull wings standard actually on the 45, which is really nice. Notice that uh, sun pad with the Mediterranean seating arrangement. And then I'm not going to open the hatches because this is still a prototype model, but basically your anchor system. And then just here you have a look at the boat. It's pretty much an oversized 37. I had the pleasure of test driving the 45 and I was impressed. This boat is truly an Axopar, just bigger, but still you get that Axopar ride quality that everybody is looking for. And just look at this background. I mean, driving this boat in Spain just felt right. We did have around 13 people on board, so fully loaded. We were able to get this boat up to 46 knots, which was pretty impressive. As you can see here, all the stats on the engines, what the boat's burning at that speed. Just an amazing boat. I can't wait to have this boat back in Florida. You know we're going to be out and doing more reviews on it. So there you have it, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this all-new Axopar 45. I'm really liking it. Obviously, it still is a prototype model. Regardless, you get pretty much the idea of what the boat is gonna be like. I think it's about time that Axopar was able to launch this boat. I know that they've been in the making for a while now. I think it's uh, plus three years, but we finally have it. And I'm pretty sure that this boat, because of the way that it looks with its traditional Axopar look, its traditional Axopar handling, its efficiency, very fuel efficient boat and very fast by the way i think it's gonna be a huge success here in florida please if you're new to the channel take a moment consider subscribing it really does help a lot and allows us to be able to do these videos uh further and further and who knows maybe next time i can actually take adrian with me on the next trip
please check out our other videos that we'll leave the links in the description below. And until next time, guys, it's Formula One weekend, and I'm back in Miami, so I'm out. I will see you guys in the next video.